Good morning, guys. All right, this is a fun drink that we are doing early in the morning. And I'm not ashamed to say it because this is gonna make you so happy. I know a lot of you out there love to go apple picking. I know my mom does that a lot. She has like the big laundry baskets full of apples, which seem like fun for the first month or so when you're canning them or you're making applesauce and apple crisp and apple pie and all that stuff. But by the end, she always has two buckets full she didn't even use. So I'm gonna show you a different way to make apples. We're gonna do an awesome apple sangria. It's delicious, it's nice and comforting. It's got these great warm flavors going on even though it's a cool drink. It's one of my favorites. So let me show you what we're doing right now. First of all, I have four sweet apples. In my Cook's Corner right now, of course, they got fun little tools here. So I'm gonna use the apple core, just push straight down. And all the little chunks come right out. So, you know, it makes your life a little bit easier. Let's do a couple more. I'm gonna do four all together. For me, I like to use Honeycrisp apples for these, but any sweeter apple will do. Just don't get the real sour ones. Let's do another one. Gotta love the gadgets, right? All right, so once these are all cut and cored, you don't need to worry about peeling them or anything, which is what I love, because I hate peeling apples. So once you get all these beautiful sweet apples in the bowl, we're gonna get an orange in there as well. Don't worry about peeling it, we're just looking for some fresh orange slices. I like to use the ceramic knives here at Cook's Corner because they don't rust out on you and they're really good for fruits and vegetables. So they're easy to clean, they don't rust, they don't ding, they don't dent. It's just kind of a handy thing to have around if you're looking for a nice fruit and vegetable knife. So we're gonna get an orange in there. Now we're gonna start adding our warmer flavors. For instance, I have four cloves, drop them in. I have three big cinnamon sticks, drop them in. Now let's do a little ginger. Ginger's got a beautiful spice to it. It's nice and warm and I just absolutely love the flavor with apples, so I just do a quick peel on these. And then I end up with about a chunk this big. It's probably about, mm, say about an inch and a half or so. This is all gonna be strained out, so I just chop it up, throw it in. And finally, to add a little more sweetness, we're gonna get some honey in here, about a half a cup. And what I wanna do is, just a little trick, spray your measuring cup with nonstick cooking spray. And it helps the Honey, just come right out. This makes life a little bit easier for you. Oop. All right. So we'll pour that in here. Oh, yes. Now we're gonna add a little liqueur in here. I want you to do an apple flavored liqueur to kind of enhance that apple flavor. Now a couple different things work. I've made this a few ways. I've used apple smuckers, that works well. Calvados, which is an apple brandy, is really nice. But we happen to find this apple pie liqueur and it says apple cinnamon and grain spirits and we thought, what the heck, we're gonna give it a whirl. So we're gonna get a good glug in here of that. Oh yes. And finally, a bottle of sweet wine. Now that's basically what sangria is. It's a red or a white wine with infused fruit and brandy. So for me, I just grabbed a bottle of sweet red. If you're not sure what sweet red is, there's all different varietals. Just go ahead and ask your, um, at the liquor store, wherever you are, just ask them what they would recommend. This one even says sweet red on it. So something to keep in mind and throw the whole bottle in. Now I like this sweet red because it's got a little fizz to it, a little effervescent, so this makes it feel a little more fun. Now give it a good stir, and what I want you to do at this point is once everything's stirred up and combined, make sure those cinnamon sticks, all the ginger shoved under there, I want you to throw this in your fridge for about four to six hours. You can make it overnight as well, but four to six hours is usually perfect. And now to finish it up, take a strainer, I love these bowls at Cook's Corner because they have the, the pourer on the end, makes life a little easier. And we're gonna strain that. Oops, all right, I'm spilling a little, that's all right. Not worried about it. You're gonna pour that right in the pitcher. If you're not spilling and making a mess, guys, things don't taste good. That's my, that's my motto and I'm sticking to it. Get all that yummy flavor out. Get a pretty towel, cover up your mess. No one's gonna know, it's fine. And now, I have a couple of glasses here that I put cinnamon sticks in. We're gonna throw some ice cubes in there. 
Additional garnish is fine as well. If you want to do a thin apple slice in there, if you want to do a thin orange slice, that would be great. I'm going to pour this about three quarters of the way up. There we go. Even with this just marinating for 30 seconds, it just smells fantastic. And now you want to top it with a little club soda. And here at Cook's Corner, we really like these soda streams. They're really environmentally friendly. You can make your own sodas, your own club sodas, your own sparkling stuff at home. So just go ahead and add some water into their little uh, thing. Push down that. Releases. Unscrews, and now you've got... You can either lid this and just keep it in your fridge for sparkling, or I'm just going to top it off like this. And there we go. So that is a great way to use up all those leftover apples you have sitting in your fridge you're not sure what to do with. Making yummy sangria, this is perfect for brunch, perfect for morning packer parties. If you're having people over for the morning game, this is a great thing to serve. All right, guys, back to you at the studio. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.